Hello, this is Patrick Durkin with part three in our video series, six videos exploring how to increase our energy, physical vitality, creativity, and fulfillment of our purpose with structured water. In this video, we're going to look at hydration. Now, everybody knows that hydration is important. And how many of us have taken the time to actually explore it and learn how to uh, go deep with it? Probably not that many, uh, judging by the laboratory results that I've looked at coming out of a research lab called Fenestra, where they studied 40,000 people over seven years and determined that 94% of people are dehydrated. Imagine that. Hydration, our probably most important physical process connected to everything in our bodies, and 94% of us are dehydrated. If you'd prefer to get some personal experience with this, rather than just counting on the lab results, just look at people's lips. If they're dry and cracking, if they look dry, you know they're dehydrated. Also look at their skin, and with regards to yourself and hydration, there are a number of things that you can notice. Start with noticing your skin and the inside of your mouth. Does your mouth feel dry? If it does, you're dehydrated. So let's look at what is the science of, of hydration. There's two types of hydration. There's intracellular hydration and extracellular hydration. Have you ever noticed when you drink a beverage and it goes right through you? This happens often with coffee or beverages can containing caffeine. It feels like the water that's in them doesn't stick. It can happen with different types of water too. If you've had that experience, you've experienced extracellular hydration. Intracellular hydration is when you, typically a good habit for intracellular hydration is you drink steadily and consistently, and the water feels like it's getting into your cells. So uh, intracellular and extracellular hydration are really important to understand. And if water is going through you quickly, you know that you're not actually getting hydrated. With regard to the science of hydration, there was a Nobel Prize awarded in 2003 to Peter Agri from Johns Hopkins University. And almost every water company out there points to the aquaporin channel and says that their water passes through the aquaporin channel better than everybody else's and therefore you have to buy their water. Well, for me, I'm a little bit more suspicious of this information. I do think there is an aquaporin channel and I think the science is in its infancy. We're just beginning to understand it. And so rather than making it an external situation where you're counting on somebody like me or an expert at some company to tell you the truth about hydration, I'd like to give you some information that I've collected by focusing on hydration and seeing if you can be your own uh, discerner of this information. You can determine what hydrates you. Focusing on hydration in your own body is simple. Notice how your skin feels. Notice how the inside of your mouth feels, but also start to connect other things to hydration and, and experiment to see if it's true for you. What I've discovered is that when my emotions are off, when I feel angry or um, sad or those type of things, I'm often dehydrated. As simple as drinking a glass of water, when I have a negative emotion, helps me to experience the change that can be uh, created just by drinking water. So notice your emotions, also notice your creativity. Is your mind, feel, does it feel like it's firing on all cylinders? If not, try drinking some water and see if that improves that for you. As you begin to this dialogue of experimenting in your own body with hydration, you're gonna to wanna to notice the sources of hydration for yourselves. And that includes things like taking a shower, going for a swim in an ocean or a lake, and even eating fresh fruits and vegetables. You may notice as you eat more melons that you experience better hydration. I did a melon cleanse for a while and noticed that I needed a lot less water while I was cleansing on melons. It's part of how I know there's structured water in fruits and vegetables and that that's one of the opportunities for us. Whatever you choose, notice that the quality of the water you drink, the fruits and vegetables that you have, swimming, these type of things, they have an impact on your hydration. So like for me, if I drink reverse osmosis water, I notice that my mouth feels dry. And if I, think, if I drink structured water, I notice that my mouth feels wet and that I'm satisfied if I drink, by drinking structured water. The most important thing is whatever water you're drinking and whatever water you're using to immerse your plants, 
your skin, through showers and baths, all of these uh, type of things that you use water for, you should be satisfied with the water that you're drinking.